Hi, I'm Julia Winter, and I'm in my classroom at Detroit Country Day School in Beverly Hills, Michigan, where I've been teaching organic chemistry and AP chemistry for over 20 years in class sizes of just 12 to 16 students. My alchemy team, my company, is taking what I know about learning higher education chemistry and transforming it into mobile puzzle games. This is my video for the Digital Innovation in Learning Award. So organic chemistry is such a hard class because kids don't know what they're seeing and they don't know when they're right or they're wrong. And students quickly fall behind and never catch up. And that's why the fail rate in organic chemistry is so high. So for years I've taught um, about this thing, which is cyclohexane, and they have to understand ups and downs and axials and equatorials. It's a small concept, but this concept is taught at the very beginning of organic chemistry in college. Today we did a first run of the game in my classroom, and I watched as they started to understand um, the difference between the bonds and it was really exciting to see that my game actually worked and it was actually great to have the feedback from the students on what needed to be done to the game to make it better and more useful for learning. You have to walk that fine line because if it's too hard and too conceptual it will feel like homework. It can't feel like homework if it's a game. So we're trying to make a game that doesn't feel like homework but teaches a concept. That was our first game. We did a study of the learning outcomes of that game, dividing my students into two groups, those who could play the game for homework and those who could not. They then came in and took a drawing quiz. Those who had played the game scored far better on that quiz. They all then played the game throughout the class period and they scored even higher. And the best part is, students and professors around the world call that little game chairs, addictive and fun. We then turned our focus to a bigger concept in organic chemistry called mechanisms. And this game is called Cyclo 6. It spans the entire curriculum. In this video, you can see a player moving a molecule, an ion around, find in the sandbox of bonds looking for the most acidic hydrogen. That's the one on the right. So with our games, we're bringing a tactile interface for a theoretical subject, layering in visual, audio, and kinesthetic cues that have never been for, before possible teaching organic chemistry in an intuitive game-based learning format.